Hello and welcome to a brand new Let's Play series on the almost brand new expansion of Dharma. This is of course Europa Universalis 4. The Dharma expansion is mainly focused on the India region being named as a Mughal update. There are worldwide changes to things like trade and also diplomatic decisions that can be made in relation to a player's government, etc. There is also a huge and grotesque nerf as to the way religion is converted, but uh, we'll rant about that later on during the campaign, I'm sure. So every man and his dog's playing around India at the moment for obvious reasons, which means that uh, today we're going to start playing in Ireland. Yes, <laughs> it makes total sense. So we're going to start off as... Kildare or Desmond? I think I think we'll go with Desmond. This is going to be an achievement run through. Uh, so let's just take a look at our settings. We're going for normal difficulty with it being an achievement. Uh, there's no need to make it stupendously, ridiculously difficult. Uh, so there's that, and that's about it, really. So I am on mode. The Let's Play series is going to be called Irish Boys, and off we go. For those that are interested, uh, the the start for this campaign is is very important. And although I've seen favourable start conditions a billion times throughout playing EU4, uh, it's eluding me for this campaign. And this is actually our ninth attempt. It might even be our tenth attempt at a start now. So we'll see how we go. It's not been forthcoming so far. And this one doesn't look particularly good either. Well, it could be worse. Well, not really. <laughs> England start off with a hostile attitude towards us. So it's actually a pretty horrendous start. Let's just see how things go. So uh, let's go ahead and assign our merchants. We're going to collect from the North Sea and collect from the English Channel. And then let's go and raid our estates. Um, we're not going to get point, uh, well, monarch points from the burgers so we're just going to start off by taking cash and then we can go ahead and take 50 admin and 50 military points we can't afford an advisor so well we could but we're not going to for the time being uh, we've also got to do some shenanigans with our navy so we start off with quite a large navy most of it's pretty useless So we're going to start off by trying to sell some of our navy to our neighbours. Uh, Scotland will buy a boat, thank you very much. Let's just turn this up to speed 4. Okay, cool. Uh, Brittany might buy a boat off us. Would they buy two? No, just the one. Okay, excellent. So that's the two farthest away neighbors. So now we just need to take a quick look at the diplomacy kind of area. So Kildare generically start off with a favorable relationship with Desmond and we can pretty much, I've never seen a run through with Desmond where you can't immediately ally Kildare. So we're gonna ally Kildare. We're then going to take a quick peek who Kildare don't like. So Ormond, Leinster and Offlay. So now we're going to set our rivals and we're going to go with Leinster, Ormond, 
And I think we might just sit on this one for a little bit. Thomond rivaled ourselves, Chloranicide and Offlay. So actually, we're going to take up our third rival slot with Thomond off the bat. Uh, another thing to do at the start is we've got an expensive cavalry unit. We're going to disband him. And our force limit starts off as six. So we're going to go and fill that up as soon as we can. And now we need to, essentially we need a friend to survive this. So Castile start off as negative 68. France start off as negative 64. France usually use up all their diplomatic relations really quickly. But we'll go with France. Mm, the surrender of main war can trigger quite early. So now we're down to one diplomat. We've got one diplomat off doing things and we can sell the rest of our navy. So let's try and sell some to, well, we can't sell to Munster. Oh Jesus. <laughs> I think I should have done that before uh, I set our rivals. So if anything, we're gonna end up keeping ships. I'd rather keep a couple of cogs just to try and be able to move people around a little bit. Um, you should be able to buy some ships off me. Yes, you can. And I think, no, there should be one more. There we go. Royal marriage offer from Kildare, we will accept. Is there anyone else that can buy the last two boats off me? England won't because they're hostile. I've already done it to Brittany. France, would you like to buy some boats? We can't engage in diplomacy with them until the 20th. Okay, I was a bit confused for a second. So France don't want to buy boats. They might buy one. But if I'm going to be left with one boat, I think I would rather... Just keep two. However, I think the Isles might buy one off me and France might buy one off me. There we go. Oh no, did I just... <laughs> I think I just sold that for zero. Okay, never mind. So we're filling up our army now. So Ormond allied Offley. Clarenside and Ulster. Kildare got an alliance with Scotland as well. Thomond have yet to ally anyone. So we're going to start off fabricating on Thomond. And then we're going to go up to speed five, just see how things tick over. Uh, we've got all of our troops now. We can afford just to go to zero maintenance for a little bit. So we sold our navy just to give us a bit of a bank, just in case we need to go over four summit, which I'm sure we probably will have to at some point. Uh, one thing that we can do is change our attitude 
to England to threatened. And I'm guessing that France have already filled out their relationship slots. Yeah, France has too many diplomatic relations already. But we'll change our attitude to friendly. We'll recall the diplomat from France because that's kind of pointless now. We're not going to be able to get that alliance. What about Burgundy? Burgundy have too many diplomatic relations. But they're actually not too far off. They're a lot closer, say, than uh, Castile are. Let's see if we can do something with Burgundy. Okay, so the surrender of Main War has fired. England have refused to hand over the province, so they are now the aggressor in a war against France and our spy network is finished on Thomond and we're going to recall that diplomat okay so Thomond still haven't managed to make any alliances which is perfect however we were a complete dumbass and forgot to raise our maintenance Let's take a look at our leaders, see how good they are at being generals. And our heir has three shock pips, which at this stage of the game is pretty spectacular. So one more month and we're going to declare this war. I just want to declare it while I've got no relations. And then we'll aim to land at the beginning of February, like so. Blame the Earl, lose one stability. That's, that's just the event that you want when you start a run through as a one province miner. So I have to pay that up immediately. Did we stack quiet them? I think we did because they couldn't get access through anybody. And I believe our other general has a siege pip. Yes, he does. So we're going to swap out generals. There we go. Let that siege out. Uh, we should also be thinking about who we're going to attack next. So... Ormond would be an option. We could call in Kildare to get rid of Offlay. Kildare should accept because they're rivaled to Offlay. Other options might be uh, Clan Rassad, Sligo. Sligo don't have any any uh, relations yet. So let's Build a spy network on Sligo. We're going to recall the diplomat from Burgundy when this siege is done. Just for a little bit. And that's over. Recall the diplomat. Peace out these guys. Money, women, children and of course the land. Ormond has announced this as a new rival. Uh, we're going to call that one. We're not too bothered about the uh, war exhaustion. We're not paying down war exhaustion. We're just going to pay a small increase on the admin there. That reminds me. 
Uh, we need to set our focus to diplomacy because our first idea group is diplomacy. <laughs> And now we're going to send our diplomat back to Burgundy. I'm just looking to see whether it's worth it and I'm, I'm not quite sure whether it is. So we should be able to declare Sligo a rival before we declare this next war. And we're just waiting for this to tick up now, just a couple of months left on this spy network. England are getting troused by France, which is exactly what we want to see. And the spy network is ready. Let's do that. Recall the diplomat. Declare the rivalry. Double check they've still got no alliance. They don't. Declare the war. And has our full stomach gone up yet? No, it hasn't. Okay, so stack wipe. Land attrition minus 20%. Nee. Oh shit, that was the wrong general we assigned to that. <laughs> Never mind, we didn't lose too many troops. My Earl, the rumour is spreading that Scotland is preparing to attack Ulster in a war of aggression. And uh, this is because the loose-lipped personality trait of the Scottish ruler. So Ulster are allied with Leinster. So that is a really good reason why we should fabricate on Leinster. Assuming that we can get anything fabricated in time but saying that anyway, Ulster will probably won't exist, so it'll be one ally less that Leinster has either way. Uh, actually, I just need to double check that I've set things that we're interested in. So we're interested in England, of course, Scotland, Tyrone, Ulster, Sligo, Kildare, Tyrocon or Offlay. Uh, the Isles, why not? Brittany, yeah. Burgundy, yeah. France, yeah. Provence, yeah, not so much. I think that's everyone that we're really interested in. Castile, maybe. Yeah, that'll do. That'll do. So, Scotland declared their war. They're also at war with Leinster. I'm hoping that uh, Scotland are going to come and kill the Leinster army for us. National unrest plus to lose 10 prestige. I'll have to take the prestige hit. We've gained a core province. Lach, Leinster are are in that war. There's quite a few parties involved in that war, so our war's over. So we need to, how are we doing on Burgundy before we recall the diplomat? So there'd be 17 points off accepting We've nearly maxed out relations with them. The, the royal marriage isn't going to happen. The alliance will actually happen before if it happens. Anyway, we need to recall that guy.
Province. Land. Women. Go. Thank you. Have a nice day. Call that. Now then. So Tyrone are... Or besieging our person. Leinster is sat in Ormond. Could we go for Ormond? So we've got the claim on Leinster. Just let things play out for just a little bit longer. Our force limit's gone up by one, so we're going to recruit our troop. Send the army back to our capital province. People want military access through us. We're going to deny all that. And we should fabricate on Claranicide, Clan Rassad rather. I always get their name kind of boggledy. And in the meantime, we'll send our diplomat back to Burgundy. I don't think this war is going to be over anytime soon. There's too many parties involved. Scotland winning the war relatively com comfortably. Ulster and Leinster. So how are Tyrone and, Tyrone and Tyra Connell involved in this? What's going on? can find it so it is one war okay sorry being an idiot it's Ulster's allies not Leinster's I don't know whatever it's a thing that's happening <laughs> Yeah, we'll give Scotland military access. Hang on, hang on. What was that? So Kildare have now declared on Leinster. Yeah. I think we should just declare and go sit on the province. So let's recall the diplomat from Burgundy again. Problem is, is that uh, Clan Rassad are going to honour that. So we can't do that just yet. So it looks like Kildare are going to get Lanster's province can't win them all. Tyrone have announced us as, as a new rival. So now we're just waiting for our spy network on Clan Rassad. England is still at war, that's good. Send our diplomat back to Burgundy. Now you should have no alliances, you don't. Uh, 
Okay. Just move back over here to stack wipe. And <laughs> we've still got the siege general in charge of the army. That's the second battle we've done that for. Never mind. Make a state, make some more money. Uh, Kildare want military access, we best give it to them. And we're not going to call, double call those provinces yet. So Ormond, I think you should be next. And who are Tyra Connell allied to? Scotland. Right, the Renaissance has spawned. We've maxed out relations with Burgundy. So let's see where we are with them. So we're minus 10 reasons for us to have an alliance with them. Army strength neutral attitude. Can I change? Can we be friends? They definitely won't rule Mary. So how do we deal with this? The only way we can really deal with this is to go above our force limit with some mercenaries. But we're going to have to do like eight mercenaries to reduce that by, I don't even think that would reduce it by 15. Anyway, we'll recall the diplomat in the meantime. How about Castile? So we're going to send the diplomat straight off to Castile. Uh, we'll take uh, diplomacy without inflation. Because if we do what I think we're going to have to do, we're going to have quite a lot of loans. England is still at war. That's good. Uh, Tyrone have declared war on Offlay. Mm, okay, fair enough. England's war score is minus 63, so they're going to get pieced out relatively soon. What's England's manpower like? Manpower is 13,500 and they've got a force of 35 so they're at maximum force limit. They've just stopped sending units over to die in France. Mm. Okay. Right guys. Um, see how things progress. Uh, we're going to wrap up the episode here. Thank you very, for, uh, thank you very much for watching. Uh, take care. I'll catch you in the next one.